Okay, so this game is gonna be a Diana game, basically because I needed AP damage. I hate playing full AD, and I actually had a say on this one, so I wanted to go uh, AP instead. Now, you in theory do wanna like uh, deny the Kale from scaling, right? But we also gotta make sure that we utilize the Callista because even if you don't deny the Kale, well, she's still gonna be getting some items, right? And exact the same thing. But if the Callista is not used in the early game, she's gonna be used. She's gonna be literally useless the whole game. I cannot turn back. So for that reason, <clears throat> we're gonna be. Uh, playing for the, the for the um to summoners rift. for the what's the name of this the callista it's the uh, like the game thirty seconds until minions spawn the moon. Just want to take a look in at the damages that it actually does. They could not break me. First blood. Let's go. that I got a horrible leash, I'm gonna have to use a potion. I feel like my clear with this champion isn't the greatest. Really, one of my first time playing this champion in the jungle. But it shouldn't be that difficult. Ah, I missed. Now my reset is done. The clearing speed is actually pretty nutty. Really fast clear. Himself somewhere. Should have flashed the bubble, but I, I thought I, I was I was gonna be able to fight stuff. Given the wave state, Jin has to overextend shortly. Then we were able to get a kill. I should be fine. Should be fine. Okay. 
drop a word because I'm gonna change it anyway. Dusk approaches. I don't need to be full on HP because I regen from the jungle. Huh. I really like this champion. Feels really strong. Imagine if I had played it when he was in its prime. Right now, I think Diana isn't that good anymore. She was insanely meta back then. So. I cannot do anything prior to him recalling. I think. Okay, if she overextends, then yes. Get the way pushed in now. There is your money, pick it up. They warded, but the when the gin is moving, he definitely put a ward now. Now, with our big advantage that we currently have, I actually want to force something. They have the wave pushed in. really have a thing for me. People had a thing for me on that fight. Pillar! A little pillar. Right? I'm honestly not sure if that was worth it, but it was one hell of a fight. I, I think we can all agree that it was one hell of a fight and that a lot of people flashed on me. <laughs> yeah, makes sense that he got for me. It was one, one long fight. I am going to need healing reduction this game. Also, I think I used my ultimate a little bit too early. I think it was mostly that. I feel like it was because I used my ultimate a little bit too early. But I got Katarina Plaza though.
Yeah, that's a good dive. I, I like it. Well, they didn't press ultimate. That's a little bit unfortunate. There are no tanks on this game, so I'm not gonna be building Ashers. Gonna be building healing, healing reduction though. I do need healing reduction. And Ashers is only whenever there is a big front line that you're gonna be constantly dishing out auto attacks. Both for the Echo, both for the Diana build that go in Ashes. If you will, like if you build it out of Force of Habit, you're itemizing incorrectly. Heading over to top side so that we're still in time for the Herald. First, we gotta go in for the top lane gank. Gotta wait a little bit for my jacks to get closer. And the reason I go in here is because she can run. Like she could be backing off after picking up the the blading. And since I don't want that. I go in. Apparently, I could have. I, I could have simply one shot her. As I mentioned, it's it's one of my first times playing this champion in the jungle, so I'm not quite confident in how much damage she can deal. But apparently, the answer is a lot. I like champions that can deal a lot of damage. Blading there. We're gonna recall ourselves so that we can be in time for a dragon. Take this up, also a Sonius and another book. And we get back into the map. Here, so I'm bringing my asset to come and help. I 
I have no clue why my astro didn't want to press R. Predictable level, you. A little bit of a limit tester myself there. I wanted to get the turret and then enforce the fight, but my team didn't want to go in. That usually happens to me a lot. I always kill myself for reasons like this. To make the game a little bit more interesting. Or so I tell myself. <laughs> Oh no, the enemy got so many rounds But no joke, they actually did get a good amount of mounts. from that fight so I'm gonna do a rock to heal back up and be able to participate. Thankfully we're so fed that our items just carry us this fight. Shadow Flame or Ravadon. I think Ravadon is better. I will build into Ravadon instead.
apparently is a good player because he's constantly thinking objectives, playing aggressive. I would say that Kalis is a, like a good play. Oh, I wanted to put down the... Honestly, I always forget to use these. I'll have to wait for the Callista to push the side lane. We're in the chop. Honestly, I would have liked the Callista over here because she's literally our only range champion. You have to be playing wave here with the Baron. Okay, that was a very easy game. I like Diana. She clears insanely fast and I really enjoyed champions that play really, really fast. The decision making was also there, so was a little bit of tracking onto the enemy jungler and pressuring your advantage and also a little bit of a fiesta. I'm gonna give it over to the Kalisa because she was funny. Highest damage. Kane as a champion is insanely stupid, which is why I like him as well. Objectives, turrets, I didn't do that all that much to turrets. It was a really easy game, really forward, just keep up the aggression game.